Hey guys, in this video, I have the Feiyutech SPGC courtesy of Gearbest. They sent it to me for review recently and links to it will be in the description if you're interested in picking one up. There's also a coupon code you can use to get it at a discounted price. Watching shaky video with abrupt panning can make people dizzy and look amateurish. So having stable footage makes your videos more interesting and easier on the eyes. So a handheld gimbal like the SPGC will dampen a lot of the movement that shows up when a person moves or walks over rough terrain when filming. When we walk or move while filming, it adds a lot of unnecessary motion into the video. Also keeping your subject level as you pan or change directions can be difficult when shooting video handheld. This is where a 3-axis gimbal can be useful. So the first thing we're going to do is unbox the Feiyutech SPGC. And as you can see, it has a manual and this warranty card. And right off the bat, you will see the battery itself. This is a 22650 battery. Typically, you find these batteries in flashlights. And it's very similar to the 18650 batteries, but they, I think they're a little bit bigger. And of course, you can buy spares if you want. They are readily available. You can buy spare 22650s and even external battery chargers if you don't want to charge it while it's in the gimbal. And this is the handle where you stick the battery in and then you can attach to the gimbal. And this gimbal is actually a three axis handheld gimbal. It has three quiet motors to stabilize the smartphone. It's made out of lightweight metal coated with a rubbery finish. Another thing you'll find in the box is a counterweight. So the counterweight is uh, used to balance the phone. If you have a really big phone, then you can attach the heavier counterweight as you can see, I've already attached the counterweight, the heavier counterweight, because I am using a bigger 5.5 inch phone. And you'll also find in the box a micro USB cable to charge the device. And all you really have to do is once you put in the battery is to attach the handle and it just screws in place very easily. And that is pretty much all you need to do. I am using it with a Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus, which is an Android smartphone with a 5.5 inch screen. It will also work with an iPhone 7 Plus because I have used it with that as well. With most of these phones, I was also able to use a simple case with it, so it does have a little bit of room. The SPGC gimbal tries to compensate for all these unnecessary movements by using three axes to isolate the movement. However, it can only isolate three types of motion caused by tilting side to side, forward and back, and the rotation of your hand. It doesn't compensate for the fourth axis, which is the up and down. So if you go up and down stairs, you can see a bit of bobbing if you don't use your body and legs to dampen this vertical motion. For most purposes though, the three axis system is good enough. There are several versions of the SPG. Basically, the differences are in how the gimbals balance the smartphone. The Live and C versions uses a more traditional counterbalance system with weights, whereas the normal SPG has a dial for a quicker adjustment of balance. Even though the SPGC is marketed for smartphones, you can also use this with a GoPro type action camera if you buy the necessary adapter. It basically clips onto your action camera and make it fit better on the gimbal. And to turn it on, all you have to do is hold down the power button. And if you notice that the, the smartphone is actually tilting to the left, that means that your counterbalance isn't correct. So right now I have the, the lightest uh, counterbalance on the phone. And as you can see, the phone is just too heavy. So it tilts over to the left. So now I'm going to take the default counterbalance off of the gimbal and I'm going to put the heavier one on. With the proper weight on it, you can see that it automatically levels out even before I turn it on. And when I do turn it on by holding on the power button, you can see that it should just automatically uh, basically stay level. And that's when you know that you have it properly balanced. The gimbal has four modes. When you first turn it on, it should be in panning only mode. So only allow panning and isolate the forward and back left and right motion. So um, all you can really do is just turn the handle. Next, when you double tap the mode button, it switches to panning and tilting mode. And in this mode, what happens is if you tilt the basically the handle uh, left or right, the camera will follow it. And if you tilt it up, the camera will tilt up. And if you tilt it down, it would tilt down. Essentially, all it does is lock the left and right motion. 
when you triple tap it it will flip around and basically go into selfie mode and then triple tapping it again will flip it back around again tapping the mode button four times will reset it back to the original mode which was panning mode and on the back of the handle there's actually another button it's the trigger button and what happens when you press this button is that it will lock all the axes so here I am holding it down and as you can see everything is locked and the camera is just fixated to whatever you're filming like all the Feiyu Tech gimbals it does work with the Feiyu on application which is available on the Play Store and the App Store for iOS and Android. The gimbal will connect to your smartphone wirelessly via Bluetooth. You don't really have to use the Feiyu on app, you can use the stock camera app from your phone. Now I'm going to do some side by side comparisons with and without the gimbal. As you can see I have my Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus Android phone on the left and then on the right I don't have it with a gimbal and you can obviously see one is much smoother than the other the image on the left is a lot smoother and it's more stable than the one on the right you can see a lot of bobbing from my walking on the right hand side without the gimbal now on the left hand side where I did use the gimbal there is a slight bob from my walking but if I had walked and uh, basically used my body to brace the gimbal for the fourth axis of the up, up and down motion, it would have been a lot smoother. Even without using my hands, legs, and body to brace it, it was still a lot smoother than without the gimbal. So you can clearly see the advantage of having a three axis gimbal versus not having one. When you're filming going up and down the stairs, you'll probably see a lot of bobbing up and down. And this is where the gimbal can really help isolate that and stabilize that movement. And here on the right, you can see without the gimbal, you see a lot of shaking, a lot of uh, bobbing up and down. And as on the left side, as I'm going up the stairs, it's still relatively smooth. I mean, there it is not completely canceled out my movements going up the stairs, but it's definitely a lot smoother and it's a lot uh, less noticeable than on the right hand side where there was no gimbal. Here's that same shot again of me going down the stairs with the full screen shot and you can see that one is better than the other. I mean, I don't want to keep on repeating myself, but you can clearly see that one is better than the other. And uh, it's obvious that the gimbal does really help in terms of making your video look better when, especially going upstairs. Another great use for the gimbal is when you're on a boat. Now, when usually when you're on a boat, things are swaying back and forth. And as you can see, the gimbal actually keeps the horizon level so that it's not bobbing up and down or side, side to side, just like on the right hand side here. So everything is level as you're filming it with a three axis gimbal. It almost looks as if you're filming things with a drone because drones themselves have will have a three axis gimbal with their cameras as well. Here's that same shot again, but this time with full screen shots of both. And you can see the horizon is level on the left hand side. On the right hand side, the horizon kind of basically angles back and forth and that really makes your video look kind of amateurish whereas on the left hand side it definitely looks more professional and it makes it more pleasing to the eye especially if you want to make home videos and stuff and for the final example we have the iphone 7 plus starting with the iphone 6s plus 7 and 7 plus optical image stabilization was included however the built-in ois can still benefit from a gimbal to smooth out video where there is a lot of abrupt unwanted motion from the camera operator or from the terrain. The Feiyutech SPGC is a cost effective gimbal that works with most smartphones. It won't get rid of all the vibrations or jerkiness but it does make your video more presentable and professional. As you can see from the side by side comparisons, there is a huge difference with and without using the gimbal. The price of gimbals are a lot more affordable today than they were a few months ago and Feiyutech is helping keep the cost down. It's a nice addition to have when making videos with your smartphone. Anyways, that's it for this review. If the Feiyutech SPGC interests you, links are in the description along with a discounted coupon code. Anyways, comment, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.